So here we are, we're finally in the ink and paint cleanup phase. And I'm about to clean up one more drawing here at frame 19. So I'm going to create a new drawing. And I want to flip on my onion skin so I can see my previous and next drawings. But before I start diving in too much, there's a setting we can change in our preferences to help us see things a little clearer in our OpenGL view. Our camera runs at a lower resolution than our final rendered view. When we render out our animation, it takes all of our effects into consideration and gives an, an completely anti-aliases all of our edges to get a final look. If we go into our edit and goes into our preferences and windows, go over to OpenGL, there is the full screen anti-aliasing preference. Mine is checked off already because it will require a relaunch of Harmony. And just hit OK, then relarge Harmony. When you come back in, you'll notice that your pencil lines are just a little bit more crisper. That said, I am actually cleaning my animation up with a custom vector texture brush. I was looking for something a little more chunkier. And what you might notice over here is my tool presets. I have them highly customized. So I have this one right here, which is my cleanup brush, it is automatically selecting my color to which I wish I am going to clean it up with, which is to say a slightly off black, a little more grayish. Uh, the next one is an X, which is just a note I use to keep notes of track of any holes so that I don't paint them by accident. And the next one coming down is one I use for the cleanup in her iris. Coming down to the fourth one is the cleanup in her mouth. And I would also like to point out that each of these, each four of the, each of these four, are all using the exact same brush, but because of our tool presets, I'm going to hit yes. Our tool presets is allowing us to remember the color. So I don't have to go through and pick a color from my palette list or from my model view. My tool presets is remembering it for me. Also of interest, the iris cleanup, the pencil is just a little bit thicker, or I should say the brush is a little bit thicker than my cleanup line, just because I have the iris being a little thicker. Also of note is the boot highlight is a highlight pass I am adding in after the fact. That is also using the exact same brush that I used to highlight, but I want a thicker version, just for a thicker, chunkier version just for her boot. Let me hit done. So let's go about cleaning this up, shall we? Use our tool preset and away we go. Okay, and that is how we do some cleanup animation. We used our tool presets to help move things along at a much quicker pace by helping us select colors and commonly used brushes over and over and over again. So tool presets certainly helped figure that part out for us. I also added custom icons to them so I could easily see them at a glance. I, and then to reiterate, we go into the manage tool presets and we just use this button right here that looks like a folder to navigate to our on our system to find a icon that we made and that is how we do it